Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. Today's pick a card reading is what the person on your mind feels about you right now. In front of me, I have three different options, each with a different color, number, and stone. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one. Okay, so how the person on your mind feels about you right now. Okay, so we start off with, I just want you all the time. Okay, so it's coming across that this person has a lot of desire for you. I feel like you both are very passionate people. And so you're on this person's mind heavily. Then we have one cup which signifies that you and this person come across as having a very crush-like connection. Okay, you both have the butterflies, you both smile and light up when you think about each other or when you see each other, so it has a very sweet energy right off the bat. Now we have be more selfish. Okay, so what instantly came to me when I saw that is that this person could have possibly come across as being selfish and saying something, you know, like, I want to break from this connection, even if you two felt super connected with each other. And I just get the impression that something they said or did came out in left field and you guys are coming across like, what? You know, I thought we were both on the same page and then this happens. So you're not sure what to make of this connection right now. And then it says, I think we should slow down. Yeah, so that's what I'm getting is right as you two started to really take off with this connection, all of a sudden it was put to a halt. And you guys are trying to make sense of that and the shift and the switch while still feeling super connected to this person. It's possible you still see this person or you guys still message. There's just some kind of connectedness still there even though you guys don't have what you used to have okay so it feels like the connection went through a 180 and then this person wonders have i lost everything okay so because they feel like in a sense they're calling the shots on this connection it makes them feel in control of the connection but at the same time you know they wonder wait did i just like gamble this connection and lose okay so that's where they're at right now they say, you are so beautiful, why do you need me? Okay, so as much as this person sees themselves as a catch, they also see you guys as being a catch. You know, like, you're so beautiful, like, why do you need me? You know, you could have anyone you want. So there is a part of them that always kind of felt like, ooh, you know, I should keep my guard up just in case because they don't want to get hurt. I know you from somewhere. Okay, so with this, this is like the Six of Cups. It comes across that you two have a soul-like connection. Okay, you could have been together in a past life. There's just this instant recognition between you guys, this instant connectedness. It's like no matter how new this connection is, if it's coming across like you both feel like you've known each other. Okay, and that's what makes it feel so intense and you're both so intrigued and drawn to each other like a magnet and why neither one of you feels like it's over. Then we have, do you even see me that way? So it's interesting because this person comes across like a confident person, but when it comes to you and this connection, all of a sudden they're knocked out of their comfort zone and they're really wondering like, Am I really the one you want? I want you to choose. It's not that they want you to choose, but they want you to make it known, like that this is what you want. They want some kind of for sure. Do you think about me too? Okay, so this person is wondering. That's exactly what was coming through to me, is this person is wondering like, is this what you want as well? And they want you to somehow show it. Okay, so let's take a look even further with my message cards. Try to see things from my point of view. Okay, so they want you guys to put yourself in their shoes and try to see things from their point of view. I will never find another lover sweeter than you. Okay, so they know that you guys are one of a kind and this connection is one of a kind and they don't feel that way with just anybody so they do feel like they'd be a fool to let it go. 
you're not going to hear from me anytime soon. Okay, so they're being honest, but at the same time, they want you to know that things aren't as they appear. So even though you aren't gonna hear from them, they still feel very much connected to you and like they're trying to get clarity on the situation, which they feel like they'll get by keeping their distance from you. But I honestly think they'd get it by talking to you. So we'll see how that plays out. They say you're so hot. Yeah, they just had to throw that in there. They're super attracted to you guys. We both already know you're the one I want. Okay, so they think like you guys are both playing hard to get, trying to keep this on the low, but at the same time, they feel like, come on, like we both already know this is what I want. Now they want you to make it known that this is what you want. I know things aren't practical for us right now. Then they say, well, I don't know that, but you know, given everything that's gone down, they figure that things aren't practical for you both right now, but at the same time, they don't want to lose you. They want to know, is this what you want? Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions. That information is right here. Also, if you would like a discount on my personal readings and exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys. Hey, group number two. Okay, so what the person on your mind feels about you right now they say I miss you do you miss me okay so this person is caught up in their feelings and they're thinking about you and they're wondering do you miss them because they miss you love me okay so this person's in their feelings big time they're coming it's coming out strong that you know they have love for you they're not hiding it. We have definitely, so it's like their mind is made up that you are the one they want and it doesn't feel right to be without you and they wanna bridge the gap between you two. Then we have weight. So for some reason, regardless of how strong their feelings are for you, they're still putting this connection at a standstill right now. Whenever you hear this, because it's timeless, but it still doesn't change the fact that they feel this strongly for you. Then they say, let me hold you. Okay, so very back and forth, the vibes here. But either way, we have seven, which is really saying that this person is going inward right now. So they're very introspective. They're very, you know, reflective of you and this connection as well as the part they play into this whole thing. And for some reason, like I said, even though their feelings are really strong and they're missing you, they're like, but wait. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, they're gonna come forward and be like, let me hold you. And we have, you are right. So they want you to know that you are definitely right about something, okay? And then we have, I just want space. So yeah, okay. This person's a bit confused, okay? They're very back and forth. So you guys, are most likely feel like you're getting mixed messages from them and you're wondering what is going on. I'm too afraid to talk to you. Okay, let's get a bit more to see what that's about. I need more balance. Okay, so this person basically feels like ever since you entered their life, they have felt these intense emotions, which, it, you know, it's a good thing, but they also feel like they need balance. So this is them like stepping back from the connection to regain balance. So it's not that they necessarily want you to wait or want space, but at the same time it is because this person's trying to balance these intense emotions. Then we have yeah, nah, okay. So they're coming across like they're being, like I could take or leave this connection. Meanwhile, all the cards around it are saying a different story. They feel like they have to act that way in order to gain the balance that they feel like they need to have, okay? Because this person feels very ungrounded right now. Okay, so let's take a look at my cards to get a glimpse even further into what does the person on your mind feel about you right now? 
They say, I don't know why I run away. Oh, we do. We are deciphering that pattern right now. This person feels intensely and then that overwhelms them. And so they take a step back, even if it's not what they want to do. I always wonder what we could have been. Yeah, so they're currently, you know, feeling like it's safer to dream about you than to be with you. And they're so caught up in fantasy and imagining. They're like, I wonder what we could be. But there's all this lack of action, which isn't going to make this fantasy a reality, you know? They got to put some action into it. They say, am I wrong for thinking that we could be something for real? I feel like you guys are thinking the same thing at this point. You're like, okay, I thought this person was interested and you know, they keep showing disinterest or backing away or acting aloof and I get it, you know, this is a lot of mixed messages and this person's wondering the same thing. I feel like you both are kind of at this point doing this dance of being showing interest one minute and then not the next, you know? So you're both wondering that. Then we have You've Got Me Seeing Stars by Borns, okay? So if you don't know that song, check it out because that displays what this person is feeling right now they're starstruck by you you've got them like listening to love songs it's very crush like and you two could be dreaming of each other it just has this feeling of kind of like you know they were just minding their own business and one day you walked into their life and it just was like this whirlwind of emotion and this person's not sure what to make of anything right now they say you probably think that you are better now they hope that's not true, but they wonder because you guys are good. Making it look like whether you're with somebody or not, you are living your best life. So often if people look on your social media to try to like get a read on you, you know, see what you're up to, do you miss them? Have you moved on? It's like you guys are just portraying, you're living your best life and you got people wondering and guessing. They say, I know I've got to let you in. This person has such a hard time though with really opening up and being vulnerable and expressing how they feel. So I feel like they do miss opportunities in life because of that. So they're aware of it. They just have to actually put in the action to change that. You act like you're not interested, but, but they feel like, you know, deep down it's not true. So they understand like you're putting up a front and it's because of their inconsistency and they completely get that. They honestly, I get them questioning, why am I the way that I am? Okay, so they're not completely unaware. They are becoming aware of their patterns. It's just like, are they gonna do something to change that or not, you know? They say though, it's not over between us. So they want you to also know that things aren't always what they appear. And even though there's a lack of action or messaging or keeping in touch, this person honestly would love like to give this connection a go. After all this time, I still have hope for this connection. Yeah, you know, they do because they feel super connected to you guys. It's just that they know that they have to get the courage to move forward with it. Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me. That information is right here. Also, if you would like discounts on my personal readings and exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys. Hey, group number three. Okay, so what the person on your mind feels about you right now. They say, I am terrified. Ooh, okay, so that's an interesting way to start off the reading. So instantly what I'm getting with that is that could be due to a number of things, so we will carry on to see what that is about. Okay, they also say I meant what I said. So it could be that you two got into it, okay? Some kind of argument, discussion, something where you weren't seeing eye to eye. And they want you to know that despite all that, they meant what they said. I need more time. Okay, so, you know, they do still have that feeling of wanting to fight for this connection. But at the same time, right now, they want to take time for themselves. Okay, I need more time. 
So it came out twice in a row, so they're really emphasizing that they have to do them right now and what's right for them, regardless of how that looks, and they want you to trust that. But at the same time, they want to know, like, will you choose them? And we have four fours in a row, so that could be significant to you guys. What's coming to me about that, though, is like, you know, the four represents roots, and often I get strongly, like, especially with these messages of needing more time, like the Four of Swords. And that is really about a person doing what they can to get back to themselves, okay? Getting that right state of mind to gain peace back into their life, to get rest, okay? So this person's admitting like, I don't feel right emotionally. I need to get back to myself. I'm gonna cut off from not just you, but others too, just to, you know, have no distractions and totally focus on me and my well-being. But either way, they want you to know you are my everything, okay? And that's like the Ten of Cups. So honestly, they do see, you're the one that they see in their life. They're, you're the one that they see a future with. I have so much desire for you. Yeah, like all their energy, attention, and focus is going to go right back on to you after they, you know, start to feel like themselves again. Which, you know, they're not sure how long that'll take, but it's gonna be different for everyone. And they say, happiness is my priority. A lot of the messages coming through for this reading is really about this person putting themselves first and it not being seen as being selfish because it's like, if they can't fill their own cup, how can they fill yours, you know, or anybody else's, so. And this love scares me, okay. So now we're going back to the terrified and it's like, you know, it could be that you guys broke up and are back into each other's lives. So they're taking it slowly, you know. They definitely have this feeling of not wanting to get hurt again. So if that doesn't resonate, then it's about, you know, being heartbroken in the past and wanting to take this slowly with you. But I do see them being interested in you either way, whether you are an ex or not. Then they say I worry about us a lot, okay? So I get that this person tends to overthink and then it creates this cycle of fear for them and then they kind of just like back off completely. All right, so let's take a look even further by diving into my message cards. I'm trying to play it cool, but I love this connection that I have with you. Okay, so despite the overthinking and the fear, this person is trying to tell you that even though they're trying to play it cool and that's really to gain their own balance from all these intense emotions, they love this connection that they have with you. Whether you two are in communication or not, I don't know what to do about this right now. Okay, and that's because they're going through a lot. So you two could be in no communication or, you know, it's very little here or there. Ah, okay. Pride came up as what that's due to. So, like they said, they're trying to play it cool. That means like they're not giving you any sign or indication that this is what they want. So you guys could be seeing them wanting space and not communicating or talking to you as not being interested. But as we dive in into the cards, we see that there's more going on than meets the eye here. So it's not that they're not interested. This person is dealing with a lot. Like, despite this connection, this person is coming across like they're dealing a lot with a lot going on in their life right now, as well as, like, what's coming up for them around this connection. So pride is just really representing that neither one of you are portraying outwardly, like, what's really going on inwardly. So you're both playing it cool. Probably have a poker face. If you guys are seeing each other or communicating, it's very minimal. And so it's giving you both the indication that this Neither one of you want this connection. When I see that it's, it couldn't be further from the truth. They say love songs remind me of you. Oh yeah, they're totally caught up in their feelings about this connection, but at this point they're coming across like it's safer to dream about you than to be with you. They say quit playing and come back. It's funny that they say that because that's exactly what you guys are thinking. So even though you both think neither one of you are interested, it's like on some level you both know that you're absolutely interested. And you both want each other to make the same, like the move, you know? I lie awake and think about what we could be. Yep. You're the one I want, okay? So they have a very sure energy coming through here. Despite the fear, do you feel the same? Okay, so they straight up want to know. 
and I would do what it takes to make this work. So despite the lack of communication and action, this person's dealing with a lot, but they want you to know you're the one I want and I would do what it takes to make this work while wondering if you feel the same. Okay, group number three, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me, that information is right here. Also, if you would like a discount on my personal readings and exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys.